did was they sent me five demands. They basically want me to stop using my mark anywhere other than on the t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. Uh, uh, they're afraid that people are going to be confused between infidel body armor and under armor. And uh, Did you hear about apartment complexes in Houston and telling people no American flags? It may upset Muslims. This sounds politically correct to me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean this, uh, this is a real joke. I mean, you know, they're trying to protect their made-up trademark. I'm trying to protect the First Amendment here. Well, exactly. That, that's what it is. You know, it comes down to is there an infringement uh, on their mark? And, and they need to protect their mark. I understand that. There's, there's a reason for them doing this. But on the other hand, there's some, this is really frivolous. And uh, I, don't, I really, really don't know what to do um, uh, other than. Well, I mean, have you gotten a, law, a, a trademark lawyer? Because, I mean, I, I've got him, yeah. and I'm not going to give you advice, but I know what they would tell me. Uh, yeah, you, I, you know, this is a different business. This is a different area. Uh, you're in, you're you're attempting by, uh, by threats to engage in torturous interference of our business operations, uh, and if you do engage uh, in uh, you know baritry uh, against this operation, you'll be held liable. Uh, you know, the courts are apt to rule according to these 14 case laws in similar areas that you're going to be held liable for attorneys' fees and damage to our name, and and, and then they'll move on to other targets. Yeah, and that's what we've done. We we replied. Uh, we I did have to hire a uh, trademark attorney, and, and we did the letter. But really, I think what would happen would be really good is if people called and said, "Hey, Under Armour, leave body, leave Infidel alone." And you know, if if enough people did something like that and called to complain, um, what would happen is they would call their attorneys off, and you know, I think it would not only help me out, but it would help other companies out because like you said they're doing this every day they probably send out hundreds of these letters a day challenging body armor companies and any company that has the word armor in it yeah and, and again this may be a mistake by then I, i'm not saying they're involved in baritry i'm not saying they're bad people i personally this is one of my hot buttons now not not with under armor but with these companies that have done this to me and and you know you, you call the lawyer up and you go man you want me to have a lawyer spend money to respond to you that you know, that you know that's almost a form of theft that you know that this is a pure threat, and even if you sue me, you're hoping I'm ignorant, and you're literally engaged in a form of highway piracy, and I'm just tired of it. And again, if somebody was putting out clothing that had armor in the name, I don't even know if that, if it wasn't the exact same name. I just think this copyright thing has gone way too far. Yeah, they went after a beverage company recently. I think it was, I can't remember the exact name of it, but it had the word armor in it. And they went after him, and I, I believe they won. I don't know how they 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 did that, but uh, you know the the courts perpetuate this, and we've become a very litigious society where people feel entitled to sue on every little turn. Left, you know, anywhere they go, they think they can sue, and they're entitled to sue. And the attorneys are making money on this left hand over fist, you know, both sides. And so, well, my big issue again is the First Amendment, and it turns out they promote Duck Dynasty clothing and stuff because they know it's popular to make money. And, and I know they've 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 marketed libertarian sportsmen patriots. I think this is a major PR issue for them, and it's important just as usual to spank them. Uh, InfidelBodyArmor.com, and we appreciate your sponsorship and your fine products. Uh, thank you so much for your time, uh, Chad Cooper. I appreciate it. Thank you, Alex. You bet. And, and then we'll get an update and see what unfolds from this. All right. Take care. Oh, they do the right thing and leave you alone and don't like, you know, try to take our YouTube video down. I mean, these, these companies either do the right thing or they double down. And again, again, I have nothing against um, Under Armour. It's just now when I put it on, so I got a lot of their clothing and I like their swimsuits. I don't want to wear it anymore just because of this. And, and I want them to back off. So it's just irritating. I, I just I'm tired of it. You don't own Infidel Body Armor's name. Been around. I mean, it makes me want to throw up. And the ignorant public doesn't know this stuff and is starting to believe it, which is what the lawyers want. Mike in Alabama, thanks for holding her on the air. Hey, Alex, uh, Semper Fi, but uh, I wanted to call you about 20 years ago. I've got a friend, his dad spent 27 years in, uh, in the uh, Special Forces, and he told us back then they'd been told in a briefing that eventually the borders would be watered down or disassembled to the point that floods of illegal Im immigrants would be coming across the Mexican border, not just Mexicans, but from all over South America. When and was I, this? I didn't, this was the early 90s. Yeah. 
And I didn't think much about it then, you know, but seeing what's going on now, it, it recalled that. And I said, oh, man, he was right. They, you know, and the, these people knew about that then because they had told them in briefings about it. And about the same time, I was being trained, uh, changed branches. I was being trained as a medic. And they told us in our briefings that we were going to see diseases that had been or were, or were starting to see already diseases that had been eradicated for 40 or 50 years in this country were coming back into the country now because the illegals don't go through a medical screening or anything. Wow, this so. is intriguing. Stay there. I'm going to come back to you, Mike, please. And then Fox, bring it to you next. Then Peter and Kevin and Jordy. I'll do a little bit of overdrive. I'll get to everybody. But... Oh, yeah, they had a Rex 84 plan to open the borders and bring in martial law in the 80s, but Reagan didn't go along with it, and neither did Congress, or some of his own people inside doing it. And then, I mean, there's groups with even in administrations, and, and then now they're doing it, folks. This is the North American Union on record happening. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy prison planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. You know about RVs, you've heard about bunkers, but surviving is not recreation. And man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to survivalistcamps.com to learn more. That's survivalistcamps.com, providing your basic needs to survive. Survivalistcamps.com. Are you happy doing your laundry with perfume detergents that irritate your skin? Are you happy washing your hands with stinking fragrances that gives your skin rashes? Are you happy paying new, higher prices for smaller boxes? Find your happiness today with our one to four year supply of pure soaps or our one to two month sampler with bar soap, shampoo, laundry, and dish soap at fivestarsoap.com. You deserve the best. Happiness is fivestarsoap.com. The new Colossus, Emma Lazarus, 1883, speaking of the Statue of Liberty, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe, free the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me, I lift my lamp beside the golden door. And people think that's what America's creed is. That was just a quote by someone. But two-thirds of the immigrants got turned back if they had criminal records or diseases. Now it's, if you're criminals, if you have diseases, please come. I uh, was talking to Mike in Alabama, who said when he was in the military, they got briefings on this. Well, I know that's for a fact, actually. 
interesting to get it from him back in the early 90s. Uh, but uh, then you were talking about what they said when you became a medic. Uh, any other points on that subject? Yeah, well, just like I said, that we'd get we'd see diseases that had been eradicated 40 and 50 years ago in the U.S., and they would be coming back, and, and we're seeing that too. And then one one thing that's on a little different subject, I read a book about this time. It was by a retired NASA guy, and he was saying something that in 69, Alex, that in the Sino-Soviet border war, that the Russians had used a battlefield tactical nuke against the Chinese to break off the conflict because they were more uh, concerned about NATO in, in the West than they were trying to, you know, slug it out with China man to man. And that's the only time I've ever read it. And I don't know if any of your other listeners have ever read that same book. I can't uh, find it. You know, I'm not time. familiar with that. I know that it's been declassified that the Chinese and the Russians came to the U.S. and wanted the U.S. to nuke the other and take out the other. So it is a three-way power block. That's undoubtedly going on. None of these people trust each other. It's just, it's just, it's a mess. Let's talk to Fox. Thanks for the call. Good points. Have a great weekend. Uh, by the way, I'll be back this Sunday live, 4 to 6 p.m. in studio. Central, please join us for the Sunday edition. Fox uh, in California, listening on KSCO, uh, 1080 a.m. I should mention where these folks call in from. So be sure and mention it when you call in. You're on the CPS, Child Protective Services. Go ahead. Alex, thank you so much for being there. I pray for you, your family, and your crew daily. Thank you. I encourage you to get a hold of Julian Jerry Dominguez, who wrote the book, A Culture of Fear, an inside look at Los Angeles County's Department of Children and Family Services. It is a whistleblower. It tells how insidious they work. And it yeah, let's get him on. Guys, get that guest on. I've heard of that book. Uh, and, and again, you've got private social workers, individual social workers in some areas that aren't bad people. But in certain big cities and other areas, it's literally child molesters, criminals. The worst place for a kid to be is in government custody statistically. Santa Cruz stole my granddaughter May 30th. They uh, called it adoption, but it was stealing. They ran it through, didn't let me or my attorney know about it. We were filing uh, JV 180s, 183, and 184. They took the complaints, they took the, the paperwork, and with a smirk, they knew that th my granddaughter had already been stolen. Yeah, I that's how it works, because they can get millions for them in the aggregate. And again, grandparents should get the kids, but no, no. I'm so they're going to change, change the granddaughter's name and everything. I encourage you to get a hold of Karen. That's Karen with a C-A-R-I-N Johnson of Walnut Creek. She's one of five attorneys who actually fight for children and families in dependency court. And Robert R. Powell of San Jose, California, he sues the agency for children who have been abused and who have died in custody. Oh, I know. You're seven times more likely, even Time Magazine had to admit, uh, to be abused or killed in, in CPS custody. It is the most dangerous place. And they, uh, I, I used to cover CPS locally, and, and they would file a thing with a different kid's name saying the kid was three years old, the parents had abused him when it wasn't even their kid, in front of a judge, and the judge would sign off, and then it would be a newborn baby. I mean, they're just total fraud, total evil, totally out of control. We'll be right back with Jordy and others. Stay with us. Some stations don't carry it. Infowars.com forward slash show. Visit GCN Promote the podcast, Live. folks. It's today. free. We're also on Boxy and Roku. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. 
coast to coast, direct from